Four hand-picked squads representing their companies compete against each other through multiple events. The battalion operations chief says this competition allows the squads a chance to showcase their proficiency. Uh, taking those infantry skills that they learn every day um, and just pushing them to the max and uh, basically just seeing who's the best out here. Squad members sprint a half mile during the first event, the combat fitness test. Next, they lift 30-pound ammo cans as many times as possible. Maximum effort to the point of exhaustion is the goal. The test includes a variety of combat-related events spread along a 300-yard course. Service members run and crawl before performing a buddy drag and carry. The simulated ammunition resupply is a sprint carrying 60 pounds of weight followed by a grenade toss. Instructors evaluate each squad collectively and there's very little time to rest between events. After a quick foot movement to the obstacle course, the squads push forward. Senior members of the battalion say the super squad competition used to be a Marine Corps wide evolution and it lasted as long as seven days in some cases. Squads often spent months training for the event, and the winners received special awards from their units. The high operational tempo of the Corps in recent years has forced units to scale back the competition. Let's go, Bingham! But Master Gunnery Sergeant Riddle says the event offered an opportunity to bring back a little piece of Marine Corps history for junior members of the battalion. The competitive nature of Marines and sailors is evident throughout the event. Let's go! Get up there! But it's balanced by camaraderie and esprit de corps forged through time spent together, and an ever-present healthy sense of humor. I thought there was a DI behind. I thought there was a DI over here. Instructors and participants keep a watchful eye while they offer encouragement. Come on, Carrie. Let's go. After completing the obstacle course, the squads will gear up and hike about two miles to the next event. Let's go. You can still get them. It's still early morning of day one, with about 48 hours to go. At the range, it's a quick meal ready to eat for lunch before they begin combat marksmanship training. The squads shoot on the move and from multiple directions. Each shot counts for score and they'll fire well into the night. Training with weapons organic to an infantry squad. Then they'll receive an operations order from higher and begin planning for a mission. In part two of this series, we'll follow the men as they go on patrol in the jungle. Gunnery Sergeant Jimmy Stair, Camp Hansen, Okinawa.